Welcome, this is a short screencast on how to create an article with content translation. If you don't have it already, the first you need is to create a Wikipedia user account. It's really quickly. Next, you need to go to the beta section where you can find many experimental features we are working on to make Wikipedia better. You'll find information and ways to provide feedback for each feature. Here we have content translation. Enable content translation beta feature and save the changes. Note that you may need to enable this feature for each language you use, since beta feature configuration is different on each Wikipedia site. Once you enable content translation, several translation tools will be available for you. The contributions page provides a convenient way to access those tools. You just need to select translation from the new contribution list to reach the translation dashboard where you can work on new or existing translations. Let's create a new translation. You only need to select the languages and the article to translate. Here we are going to translate the Garam Masala article from Spanish to Catalan. When you start a translation, you are provided with a three-column editor where you can view the original article on one side, you can edit your translation in the center column, and there is a third column with instructions and several translation tools. You can add paragraphs to the translation just by clicking in the translation area. Feel free to add as many or as few paragraphs as you need for your initial translation. For languages with automatic translation support, an initial translation is provided when a paragraph is added. Those initial translations are helpful, but you need to make sure that the content reads naturally in your language. When working on a sentence in the translation, the tool highlights the corresponding sentence in the original article, so that you can easily check it in context. When you add a paragraph, text formatting is preserved and links are pointing to the right place. You can easily explore the articles that both the original and the translation links are pointing to. In this case, the name for Pepper needs to be corrected in the translation. Make sure to review the automatic translations you use. If you are not editing them enough, the tool will remind you to do so. If the initial translation was not useful for a specific paragraph, you can always discard it or use the source paragraph as a template if you prefer. You can select text and turn it into a link if an article exists with that title. Although the tool provides support for some basic editing, you may want to focus on adapting the content and leave advanced styling for later, once the article is finally published. By default, categories are added automatically, provided that those categories exist in the target Wikipedia. Remember that you don't have to complete the whole translation in a single session. Your current work will be automatically saved as a draft. The translation dashboard shows the list of your ongoing translations, so that you can resume them at any time. Once you are happy with the result of your translation, you can publish it, and it will become a new Wikipedia article. From that point, you can edit this article as any other Wikipedia article, and with the help of the community, you can improve it, one edit at a time. Remember that Wikipedia articles in different languages are not supposed to be an exact replica in content. It is perfectly fine that an article that started as a translation from another language evolves in a different direction over time. We hope that you found content translation a useful tool. We are looking forward to your feedback and extending the tool with more language support and new translation tools. Thanks.